when I'm applying for a job, what I look for in an organisation is if they have a reconciliation action plan, a wrap. What I look for is that they acknowledge Aboriginal culture, whether that be with displaying the Aboriginal flag or cultural paintings. Yep, one of the things that I look for is uh, do they already have Aboriginal staff? And if they don't, why, why don't they? One of the other things that I look for is that their culture uh, will marry up with my culture. A lot of organisations have a target of the amount of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people that they would like to hire. So I guess it's finding out about what these organisations do to support Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people within the workforce and that it's not just a tick box, they're actually supporting these people in their roles. For me it's around staff retention as well. Uh, I want to know if I get a job that uh, the organisation is going to do their best to keep me rather than um, replace me with somebody they can pay less money to. I think it's important for all staff, whether you identify as Aboriginal or not, to have cultural awareness training in their workplace, just so the whole workplace has an understanding of Aboriginal culture. Any, any of that, any mentoring uh, by culturally uh, appropriate staff members, um, in other words, Aboriginal staff members, um, can be very healing. It also promotes a safe space. If I have an issue with something that I don't feel comfortable with raising with someone, I can raise that with my mentor and he's able to feed that back. What is most important are the three R's. Respect for an Aboriginal person, responsibility for country and culture, and the role um, we play in community. Some people are very heavily involved in their Aboriginal culture while others are just beginning their journey and it needs to be respected that everybody is at a different journey.